Hi, I'm Ben Zwickel, and welcome to the screencast on making classy plots in Mathematica. Before we get started, let's make a simple plot and compare it with some other common programs that are used for data analysis and plotting. So we'll use the Mathematica plot function, and let's plot sine of x as x goes between 0 and 10. So next I want to show you some screenshots of the default plots of the same function in Python on the left and MATLAB on the right. As we see, Mathematica's default plot style is quite different from some other programs. Personally, I prefer a plot style that is more similar to the default in MATLAB or Python. In this screencast, I'm going to show you some of the plot style options, which I most commonly use. I want to introduce the basic plot options by starting with the basic plot shown on the previous slide. So that was plot sine of x as x goes between 0 and 10. And let's execute that and make it just a little bit bigger. So we'll add one option at a time and see the effect. I like to add each option on a new line to make the code easier to read. So I separate all the options by a comma and hit enter and it won't execute unless I hit shift enter. So now I'm going to add the first option, a frame. So that is frame and I do uh, dash greater than sign for an arrow, true, and hit execute. And the next option I'd like to add is to remove the axes running through the middle of the plot, because we don't need axes and a frame. So we'll say axes false. And it removed the x-axis that was running through the middle. Uh, next I'd like to change the font size because I like a sans serif font, at least for viewing on the computer. And I'll do that by changing the label style. And I'm going to give it multiple style options here. So the first I'll do is to change the font. So font family dash greater than sign for the arrow and Arial. And I'd like to change the font size to 12. And shift enter to execute. And now we have uh, changed the font size and the font family. So we can make that bigger for this presentation. Say we make it 24. All right. So next, I would like to add a label to the frame, because we should always label our axes. So let's suppose in this case, um, the frame label will be a list of two strings. And the first string is the x label. So we'll call that time in seconds. And the y-axis label will be displacement in, say, centimeters. All right, and that's in a list, so it's inside those curly brackets. All right, and there we have labels on the axes. And lastly, I would like to change the color of the curve, because that's a common thing that you'd like to set. So we can do that by saying plot style. And I'll show you how to change two different options. First, let's make it red. And let's also make the thickness thicker. So you should look in the Mathematica documentation to see what the number means. But it means a fraction of the total width of the plot. So this would be 1% the width of the, t of the plot. And there you have it. So that's a thicker red plot with labels, uh, font change to Arial, no axes, but a frame. I also want to quickly demonstrate how to use options in the list plot function. So the list plot function and plot function share many similar options. So first, if we import some data, which happens to be a damned simple harmonic oscillator, and then list plot this data, we can add the same options, frame true, axes false, label style, change the font to Arial, the size to 20, and the frame label. Uh, all those things were the same as plot. And if we execute, we get a similarly nice looking plot. Last, I want to show you how to speed up this plotting process by adding some default plot options. So the way you can add default arguments to any uh, function in Mathematica is to use the set options function. And the first thing it needs is to know what function are we going to apply default options to. So in this case, it's going to be the plot function. And we'd like to add, in this case, three default plot options. I'd like to say that the frame should always be true, so it should always be a plot with a frame. I always want to turn the axes off, so axes should be false. And I'll change the label style to have uh, a, the font family of 
Arial as before, and I'm going to change the default font size to 12 point. Alright, and so that's actually the full set of options. If we put the semicolon, it suppresses those. It just doesn't display them. And now, if we just go to plot sine of x, as x goes from 0 to 10, we get a framed plot with no axes, an Arial font size 12. And if we add a frame label to that now, time in seconds on the x, and displacement in centimeters on the y, that also shows up in Arial. So that is a very convenient way, if you're going to be doing lots of plotting, uh, to just to condense your plot statements and to use the same formatting on all of them. And lastly, I want to remind you that you can always get help, uh, again, by going to the Mathematica help and typing plot or typing the plot function and hitting F1. And if I bring that on screen, uh, what you can see is there are a lot of examples. And in particular, if you look under the options, you'll see all the different options for setting the aspect ratio, formatting the axes, and so on. Uh, and that's very helpful. And there's usually good examples for most things, so don't forget about that. Um, thanks for watching.